calling the National Guard, man. They need help. They need help. Help is on the way. She feel like my ego. I'm feeling it diesel. It gave me a buzz like a flyer or a bee, though. I'm up in the air like a falcon and eagle. My style of fish, so I'm dripping like eels. Boat in the sky just like evil. Knievel, they stuck in the canyon. I'm blessed with the people. My right hand of God, I go where he go. Welcome to the second season. Tonight, the Cedar Park Timberwolves launched their 13th consecutive playoff campaign in the program 16th overall in 21 years. We're home in Cedar Park, Texas at John Gupton Stadium where tonight the two-time state champion and currently number five ranked Cedar Park Timberwolves will open their charge towards a third state title against the Patriots of San Antonio Veterans Hey, you know Memorial. the vibes, man. We out here. It's Gupton. We're with, my, we're with our boys. We're with the dog. We're about to get this W. You heard it? Ah! Forget about our and Make the next best decision for students. We will be the heroes of our Cedar Park 58, Luke Williams. Gentlemen. up the pocket oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. the football and that's gonna be scooped up it looked like by number 28 Luke Taylor I told Luke Taylor in the pregame they needed to check number 28 all game and he did the job right there Luke Taylor with a black rain turnover he's gonna throw it back to Gunnar Absick and he's got a convoy he's out to the 10 to the 5 but the first touchdown in the opening playoff to Gunner on the trickery, baby. Six thirty-four to go. Twenty-three yards and a Timberwolf touchdown. They give it to Gunnar Absic on the end around to the left. Going deep and out in front. Touchdown. And Gunnar Absic going to go in with a COVID protocol touchdown. <laughs> 2.41 to go, and the Timberwolves take a 14 to 0 lead. Oh, COVID protocol, you're absolutely right. That was a socially distant oh, run right there. <laughs> 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 Josh Cameron on the end around to the right side, and he is just going to waltz in. He's now having a two-point try successful, and he's going to have another touchdown tonight. Dustin Board coming on those first two offensive possessions that ended in touchdowns. Always going for those two-point tries. Now bringing on our senior kicker, Justin Board, with the hold from Cole Kruger. And that was down on the tee and just absolutely perfect. As the Cedar Park offense capitalizes now 21 to
to Mundell being very patient through the line all the way out to the four. He's chugging those feet. Can he get into the zone? Oh! Gavin Mundell, number 22, put it on his back. He piled his way into the end zone and got a little bit of help from his buddy, number 58, Luke Williams. First, or third and four, Riders got a tight formation. They're gonna give it end around to the left side and he is just gonna cake walk into the end zone. A great job, that was Gunnar Aptek. Gunnar Aptek having a phenomenal game tonight and punching it in right there. Timberwolves now 43 to six with Justin Moore coming on with the extra point try. <laughs> Remember when you and Nico saw my keys and removed my Jeep in the parking lot? Drops back and a fire one to Gunnar Aptek at the goal line, and he dodges a man and gets into the end zone for the 20 yard strike on second and one right before half. That was just too sweet as Ryder. Calling the National Guard, the man. <laughs> they need help. They need <laughs> help. Help is on the way. <laughs> Back with it's Kate Hot. They're gonna give it to Hot right up the middle. He's got some space to move. Using the referee as a line or as a blocker. He's out past the 20. Inside the 10. He makes the man miss. Kate Hot does it himself from 55 yards. Wow. That's how you come out of halftime, baby. Wow. Great job, Kate Hot, following those blockers and those trick dogs right at the middle. Hey, there goes your first time. He fumbles the ball. She was not recovered. Aaron. have a chance to reverse it backfield, keep his feet. He's to the five, all the way down to the four. If he can plow his way, he can do it. Josh Pell, oh my goodness. He ate his Wheaties this morning. Josh Pell, a 29 yard touchdown run on the quarterback keeper. Yeah, he, ran, he ran so hard, he's one side of the field, the other side of the field, and fighting to get in, oh my goodness. Unbelievable job of keeping your feet, keeping that balance, and then following those lead blockers to let them get out in front. But Josh Pell there at the goal line, he could have been brought down pretty easily, but you never saw those feet stop moving. You kept those feet moving. Patient runs it right up into the line of scrimmage behind the lineman. Cuts it down. back towards the midfield. He's going to get to the end zone. Houston Molinaro from 23 yards. He's going to be Houdini, baby. I Great job by Houston taking it in. The Timberwolves over 70, baby. 71 to 20. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, victory for us. Let us the offensive play right there. All running back. In the record books. <laughs>
Let's go! They need help. We lit, we lit. Right. One more game is all we want every week. To do that, we got work to do. Get the things fixed that we need to get fixed. We got a big one coming up next Thursday at 7.30 at Waller against Richmond Foster. Hell yeah! This is Emma. I just wanted to say that right now we're preparing for a state championship ourselves and we're working on getting our team Go together. Wolves, yeah! We're constantly cheering on our boys. Take we're it praying, back. praying for their safety. We're taking back our state championship. We're here with senior Josh Brett and senior Luke Taylor. Um, what was going through that through y'all's head when y'all got that pick? Well, I mean, uh, I was coming off the edge and I've been, I've been jumping. So when I tipped it, I turned around. I was like, please, someone be there. And there was Luke in full stride. The ball went straight up and I saw my opportunity. Four. Yeah. <laughs> All right, any shout outs? Uh, shout out my family, shout out Black Rain, shout out Troop, shout out everybody. Shout out my family, uh, shout out Kate Hot, Kate Hot. great game, shout out Jeff, shout, shout, out shout out my mom and dad for sure. Four touchdowns, how'd you stay so consistent throughout the game? The offensive line did an amazing job tonight blocking and uh, just to, like, stay consistent by driving my feet. And how do you feel about this being your last home game at Guffin? It's sad, but it's it was a good road. Any shout-outs? Uh, shout out to the boys. Uh, shout out my mom and dad and my sister. And uh, shout out Blake. Yeah. <laughs> I reporter Blake in the building. <laughs> Landlord time. What can he do? Film and you got domed with a flag. I got domed with a flag. First varsity offensive play. I did. I did a backflip actually. Cool. 72 to 20. We out here putting in the work every day. About to get that treatment in the morning. Last game at the GUP this season. You know we made the most of it. Yes, sir. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. What if we flip for a home?